citizens of Reject Nation, we are here at the witching hour midnight to check out the official trailer for Saw X or 10, whatever we're going with these days. We were out at a little Reject Summit with some of the other faces you might know from around here, so we were not able to catch this in real time, but we're here now. Greg, how you feeling? Uh, Greg is feeling um, like that I consumed some stuff, and oh, I'm, going, I'm here to tell you that uh, if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell myself. No, man, we're good. We're good. It was fun. Did you have fun? I had such a good time. Leave a like Thank for God. having a good time. I need everyone to have a good time. And we're, subscribe. we're big Saw fans. We're big Saw fans. We we're some Saw. of the biggest Saw fans you might find. We've we been here Saw. for the whole you, dang you know, thing. Do, John, I'm trying to ask you a question. question. Do you know uh, when this takes place? I do. I know a couple small things that they have really revealed I about it. weirdly them. listened to a video about it like three days ago. Oh, good. It's not weird. I'm looking forward <laughs> to it. Let's hit that play button. Everyone will be quiet. Yeah. Leave a like. And then and we'll then be talk quiet. about it for obnoxiously too long. Yeah. And we'll see who sticks around. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> all of you. If you stick around, comment. Of all the men to cheat, you picked John Kramer? John the cancer is still spreading. I'm afraid there's nothing else we can do. There is one person who might be able to help. Our program is a two-pronged treatment. Wow. Of Mexico City. The results have been stunning. She saved my life. We've been to Mexico City. It's like City. all gonna be from John Kramer's perspective. You're in very good hands with us. I guess so. After that, what happens then? Your whole life happens then. John Kramer. Oh. Oh no. According to these scans, you're the devil. The tumor was never removed. Oh no. How much time do I have? Months, at best. I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. This looks like an actual saw film. I know, right? <laughs> like the old school saw films. Hello, everyone. <laughs> it's time to play a game. Yes, it is. You played a you game in between. You to cure me. But what I have planned for each of you is very real. Wow, the pigs. <laughs> Fascinating. No light. Whoa. The only thing I have not provided is your anesthetic. Of but course. Trust me. Billy. You will want to remain alert. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. It also looks like an independent movie. <laughs> All the men to cheat. You pick John Kramer? Please, don't hesitate. <laughs> piece of you Ooh, oh, the poster trap. Into the glass enzyme tank. This will save your life. So sweet. This is not retribution. It's a reawakening. Yeah. What a thing. That's, there's a lot more emotion here than I thought. Yeah. Hey! Whoa, Amanda! Dang. Whoa. Got them both back. You guys, we did a sketch called Greg Saw years ago. Yeah. Shows you how big a Saw fans we are. Crowning jewel of our sketch history. Do we say that it takes place between Saw One and Two? Uh, did we say it? Or did yeah, did we it? say it out loud? I think we just said that we knew when it took place, and then but we, we let didn't everybody actually guess. establish this that takes, it takes place, place between Saws One and Two. Yes. All right. Well, John, you are a much bigger Saw. So I've seen everyone at least once, and a few several times. Okay. Yeah. Is one of those Saw Six? <laughs> Uh, actually, no, I've only seen it once, but I really liked it. Saw 6 is one of the better ones, and this is the director of Saw 6, oh, which good. makes a lot of sense. Yeah, because this looked very surprisingly emotional. Yeah. Like, that threw me for a loop. Like, visually, it looks exactly like the soft... Uh, it doesn't... 
because they start going down a direction of we're like we're trying to get slicker. Yeah, we're trying yeah, to get yeah. cooler. We're trying to rise trying above to... the scuzzy music video oh, hyper man. editing. Do yeah. exactly that, but it feels genuine in, yeah. in its approach. But this would this would still be the first time that it is truly from like we're we're watching this from john kramer as if he is the protagonist of the story yeah we've had flashbacks like that and we've had obviously saw films where he's like the prominent sure. story but yeah this one apparently he is like sort of the lead as well as the enigmatic villain <laughs> yeah because it's surprisingly lean more on story and less on the torture games and like look at the different devices we're going to have because a lot of the devices are pretty generic if you ask me sure uh, but sure it's but about it's the entire context yeah. rather than just yeah but i kind of like that the yeah. reason why is because you know that feeling when you watch a prequel and it feels like way more updated yeah and like where was all this shit in the one that wasn't the prequel it was all that craziness because it's still a fairly early stage for John Kramer. Yeah. Before he started was with Saw Two of let me get a bunch of let, let me, me get a whole let house. Let me rent and a house <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's not let's just take one room. <laughs> let's do every room. They're all yeah. related to each other. Yeah. So having it be a little bit more back to basics works for the story. Yeah, yeah. And in a way where like I, I respected what they wanted to do with Jigsaw, uh that installment, but that even has that uh quality where it is like this is in the past technically or some of it is or it's inspired by like a direct game from the past that does seem much crazier than a lot of stuff we've seen up until now and for this being between one and two this still feels like that diy charm and in some of those flashbacks that you get in i think it is six like some of those old traps are like really janky and it's just like oh he just rigged a bunch of knives together or yeah. like a bike chain and some drills or something and so yeah i, I six love was the one where he wasn't getting he didn't get the cancer treatment right yeah, yeah that was the okay six yeah. is the one where they're going after like all the different people in this the fun, insurance, insurance fund. companies yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i remember that yeah and so yeah this one you know i guess will be about some kind of corrupt medical institute preying on the you know the needy and the weak but uh <laughs> but it also have more of a macabre humor yeah certainly like, i mean it'll, it'll be interesting ironic humor yeah. yeah to see how that's grown because like you know saw movies can be kind of bleak but i feel like right now there's very a moment where they have films. to be a little self-aware <laughs> very serious <laughs> yeah seems like i i rarely say a, a saw trailer i mean we might have said about previous saw trailers um but this particular one managed to look and feel like the original saw films but still also managed to feel fun yeah whereas the other ones take uh jigsaw was was the one before spiral right yeah jigsaw that that like looked fun but didn't look necessarily like saw sure it's yeah. again that polished thing of like it's saw but for like yeah. a slightly new generation and everything's like a little more sleek than you're used to yeah and it, this is not just a, a who is jigsaw so yeah. it, which gives a different approach whereas the other ones are who is jigsaw and for the saw x is it the 10th one think jesus because so. yeah. they stopped counting after seven right? yeah so <laughs> seven <laughs> eight is jigsaw nine is spiral and this is ten oh, damn yeah. yeah oh this is the tenth one yeah and to call it saw x this actually feels confident and different usually by the time you get to a tenth in a horror franchise you're like, like oh, let's shit, do a subtitle they've gone way <laughs> off the rails here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to numeral 10 yeah you have to be at least a little confident and i mean you know it's also x which is the edgiest letter of the alphabet you know that so, works for saw though of course yeah they've already it, gotten it, pretentious about their like chapter shit yeah no it lends itself to the sleazy grindhouseness that this whole torture genre partly hinges upon even if these movies do care to have twists and you know a sort of cop thriller aesthetic overall but that's not really here and we're gonna see amanda we're gonna see amanda we're gonna see the origins of amanda that we were told about now we get to see it yes. play out a little more because these two don't age at all or they they look like they don't age at all, but I'm sure if I watch Saw 2 and oh, then sure. I put this trailer on, I'd be like, it definitely aged. But oh, yeah. when I'm I mean, just he's going gone off from being like, he's just, like 80 now. <laughs> yes, I mean, when, when I'm just going off of memory, yeah. I'm like, wow, they haven't aged at all. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I watch them back to back, I'm sure. like, that one definitely looks a lot older. <laughs> uh, Amanda certainly will, will look a bit older. I feel like she's she's younger than Tobin Bell, so that will be more noticeable. <laughs> and now he's going after the scam doctor here. Yeah, yeah. This is personal. 
Yeah, and taking away their anesthetic, all the traps seem like they'll have some kind of surgical, uh, you know, theme about them, and the whole, it's not retribution, it's an awakening. Remember, that's where they got all the needles and two from. Yeah. Ugh, still one of the most icky traps possible. And he got some anesthesia oxygen tank shit in, uh, mm-hmm. too, as well. Yeah. Now we're going to see the origins of two. That's right. <laughs> now we're going to have some kind of crazy <laughs> twist where it was like, this was actually happening in the same house, just in the attic. Do you think <laughs> L- we'll see Lee wan I don't know. That would be cool. That would be cool. I mean, you know, he's a sleazy photographer. But he didn't die. He didn't die. And they could come back. Well, no, don't they find his corpse like shriveled up in one of the movies? I thought that was Danny Glover. Or was it Lee wan I think they find his shriveled up corpse. All right. I think he I, does die. I guess I'm just not remembering correctly. But you never know. I mean, we don't know how long he was in there for. I think we'll see Donnie Wahlberg. Uh, probably not. I don't know. It's too bad. Yeah. It bums me out. I mean, unless he's in Mexico. Maybe that's where John Kramer meets him and is like, ah, this guy needs a lesson. Maybe we'll see Donnie Wahlberg's son. Yeah. 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 He's one of the nurses helping Jigsaw. That's Let's see. Let's get the same actor back, too. Yeah. <laughs> to play himself <laughs> before the second movie. <laughs> It'll be great. It'll be like, uh, yeah. Can you he's, shrink? He's in Mexico for some kind of rejuvenation, <laughs> like youthfulness treatment to keep him looking young. Wow. Oh, it's the 20th anniversary I saw. I right. guess it must be. What is that, 2004 to, or 2003 to 2023? Sure. Look, there's a comment here that says, I'm legit, actually legitimately crying. <laughs> the Saw franchise means the entire world to me, so seeing this just made my entire week. Really? That's hey, man. Cr- crazy that Saw, it is such a negative film. <laughs> it is a very franchise. bleak world, yeah. <laughs> and as much as I love them. No, it taught me to appreciate life. It <laughs> t- well, that's the interesting part Did of it. it. That's <laughs> part, the interesting part of it is that he does, of all the moralistic killers, when it is actually John Kramer and not one of his deluded uh, you know, his disciples, he's, he's kind of got a point sometimes. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> that's what makes him interesting. And I hope they can maintain that. I mean, I hope like the John Amanda stories are often, especially the John Kramer stories, are like the most rich part of saw and oftentimes even in the lowest lows of the saw franchise a good john kramer scene is a great scene so Damn, uh yeah. this was two that was a two and a half minute trailer i thought it was like four minutes i know it felt like a really long trailer yeah there was a lot in there and there was like, a lot of like epic showing music so too. yeah epic like nostalgic it's a good like, trailer oh my god yeah all right john i'm ready to close out you ready to go? i'm ready to close out there you go We've done it. We've done our Saw thing. Guys, leave us a, a thought in the comments. Are you excited for Saw X? Will you be there September 20-whatever opening night? Let us know your favorite Saw trap down below, and we'll catch you next time. Stay sexy, Reject Nation. Mm-hmm.